So as a webmaster of the CNS Journal, I am, or we are basically responsible for all the content on the web page. We upload the PDFs, we upload the, the Caesars, the new journal cover, if there's some news or blog entries, a new date for the journal launch party, stuff like that. We just make sure the website is running and functioning. If there's any kind of feedback that we need to take something down, we need to be available. We communicate with the Rabbao journal, like the CMS team. Um, basically, just make sure everything behind the scenes goes smoothly and uh, the uploads work. People are able to upload their Caesars so we can publish them later on. My decision to join the CNS Journal team was actually pretty early on. I think in the very introductory week, someone came and presented like the CNS Journal. I thought that's actually a really cool thing and a great initiative to have like your Martha Caesar and like your own kind of publishing um, pipeline. So people are, are actually like able to see the journal process and I think that's really good for a research master because well, we are probably going to aim to be somewhere in this publishing pipeline at some point in our career. As a webmaster, I've learned mostly that behind the scenes, not like there goes a lot of work sometimes into making everything run smoothly, but most of the time you just have to make sure everything continues as it was at the start. So it's mostly um, communicating with the others is great, and it's like that is a team effort to solve everything. So even if the webmaster team is as small as of all, you always can rely on feedback from everyone else and like input from everybody else, which is a pretty great process. So it's like a very nice back and forth between the different teams and you're a bit involved in everything because well you need to communicate with every team and well do your job to their needs. Well if you consider being the webmaster yourself I think one of the more important parts is the actual interest in how the behind the scenes work. So it's you're less involved with the actual or you're involved with the proofreading because you're not involved with the actual editing, you're not involved with layouting, but you're making sure that all the technical stuff goes well. So you should have some interest in like web technologies or some kind of interest in how web layouting or like search engine optimization works, even though we don't do most of that, there's definitely an option to more go into that if that is kind of your interest. But you also don't need a lot of knowledge. So the interest is more than enough because the systems they're running in the university are fairly straightforward. So it's a lot of, well, just bring interest and a bit of passion, maybe some ideas how you would like the website to look and you're good to go.